because I think these... Oh, no, hang on. Oh, whoa, mama mia. That is completely the wrong thing. We're going to have a load of vehicles that are going to disappear. Oh, some of them just jumped onto the nearest road. Darn you. I was hoping you just all disappear. <laughs> Well, as I am a complete glutton for punishment and you guys love it so much, I am back for another traffic fix video from a city that you sent in. So let's dive in and see how bad this one is, how bad it's going to get and how we can fix it up. So this city was sent in by Total Gentleman, and it's Vermont. Uh, they say, say Vermont without the M and don't silence the E. I don't think you silence the E in Vermont anyway, so Vermont is how I'm going to pronounce it. And it is in a pretty state. Let's have a look at the traffic percentage, 66%. We can see that it really is focused around this area over here. And I'm sure some of you are already noticing some of the major issues this city has got. And on top of that, it's giving issues for trash. Yeah, so it's not going very well at all. And what makes it even worse with all of this traffic that we've got going on here, they've got traffic manager despawning is on oh my giddy aunt so this is only going to get worse because you know me i like to make things as difficult as possible and i am going to put despawning on and see how bad this gets and whether we can fix it up so you sent me a long list of all the problems oh, i can just see for myself your farming area problems traffic all the way over here uh, your residential area this side traffic getting in and out which is queuing down here, which is joining with your industrial farming traffic as well. Then if we head on up the highway, we've got like a branch off the highway here, which heads into this huge area of houses, liking these houses down here, looking good, looking good. This isn't too bad for traffic, but this is like the only way in and out. And this is causing all sorts of traffic and backup in here as well. So there's that to look at. Uh, down the highways okay until we get to this junction here and you said you tried lane mathematics or maybe that was somebody else I, I was looking at a few cities but i don't see lane mathematics going on here but anyway lots of problems going in and out of this huge section and we can see they're struggling for trash now my immediate thing um is to look at how much trash procession you've got you should have enough but as soon as you get traffic problems it's just not enough and we can see where it's all spread out i mean the worst affected areas are down here all your trash collection is over here so it's got to go all the way through let's just take this trash collection you've got up here we can see all the buildings that we've got where would they have to go so they would have to go through this built up area here of houses they'd have to join the highway either here or come down there and join over here which is a long way away and then sit in the traffic there or join the traffic there yeah 63 percent it's just getting worse and worse so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off the despawning thank you very much um, and we are going to put this on here like so. And I'm going to do a little mini time lapse. And we're going to see how bad the traffic gets. Put your guesses in the description below. <laughs> My goodness me. Oh, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. So how bad did you think this was going to get? Um, what did you guess in the description below? Okay, I'm going to have a guess. I'm going to think this has got pretty, pretty bad. I can't even see what's at the top over here. I reckon we've got down into the low double figures, like 17, 18% at the absolute most. Let's take a look at what it is at 16% whoa that is bad and we've lost we started to lose that we had eighty-one thousand, i think something like that and it's going down a lot so now's the time to sort of stop before it completely kills our city okay right so we can see that it's all completely backing up the highway off the map over in this direction how far does it go it goes all the way up to there that is a queue and a half isn't it we'll jump again um, what about the highway coming out the other way? We've got this one over here. That's still moving. That's not too bad. Okay, good, good. What about this one through the middle here? Again, this junction. Completely problematic, as you can see. Not working at all. Over here is probably okay. Once we get outside the city limits, we're fine. Okay, so. Good grief. Where do we start? Well, obviously, the highway is a bit of a disaster, and that's something that needs to be fixed. Interconnection between areas is really lacking. 
Um, so that's something we need to work on as well. We do have some sort of little connections between areas, but mainly everybody just needs to use the highway. So it's getting all clogged up. What I do want to check is your mass transit. So let's just quickly dive into that and see what we got. Okay, no buses at all. So that really isn't going to help. No trolley buses. Nobody uses those anyway. Tram lines. Whoa, a tram line. Let's take a look what we've got going on here. So that tram line sort of goes up and over there and comes over here. And that's it. It's like a little tiny tram line, probably more for its looks than its use. Tons of trams on there and hardly anybody using it. So we're going to drop the line down to three. So we're not really missing out on anything there. Maybe saving a bit of traffic. Oh, we have a metro line. Where is the metro line going? Um, let's zoom out and have a look what we've got. Whoa, 2,750 people waiting for the metro over here. Look at those queues. Absolutely gigantic. We've got the commuter destination mod. So we'll be able to see where they're all trying to get to. And this might give you a little bit of a clue as to what the problem is. Loads of people here want to go over here. If we just scroll through the stops on your metro line. So now we're over this side. So it goes from here to back over there. We've got another stop here. Very close together. So they want to sort of get around. Nothing much going on with that one. This one here again. Oh, that is right next door to the other one. So some people are using this one to get over there. And then everybody's using this one to get around everywhere. So the metro needs to be looked at as well. No trains. No boats, no planes, no this, no that, any other. You've got a few walking lines, but we're not worried about that. Okay, so your metro needs to be fixed and your buses and everything as well. <sighs> Good grief. Somebody hand me a paper bag and a cup of tea because we've just had an autosave. So I need a big sip of tea. Are you after a strong, a sturdy mug for your cups of tea or coffee? It works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com? So the question is, can I get it back from 16%, bring the city back to life and get up towards about 80%? That is going to be the challenge. Um, let's just have a look at the road hierarchy here in Little Europe. I mean, the way the houses all set up looks nice. Looks like Little Europe, you know, very, uh, very swish, very cool. But road hierarchy completely non-existent over here. So we're coming off the highway. And basically hitting this road. Um, so we could call this the collector that goes all the way around the outside, which should be fine. But then we've got sort of other collectors, random sections with collector roads on. This one here doesn't know where to go. It then hits in the middle. So I think we need to do a little bit of work in here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these collectors that you've got going through here. And we're going to just sort of upgrade this. So that can go through the middle. We've got this here with a roundabout, which I'd really, I've got to be honest, really isn't doing anything for you. So we're going to delete that and all the houses that are around it. There we go. Then we've got this collector coming down here. So we're going to connect that collector. And then we've got this one that sort of comes through here and stops. And I think having a couple through here is probably a good idea. So we are going to bring that through here as well. And then that can connect to the outside there. We can lose that road and maybe just sort of zone a little bit more. Ah, you've got the zoning in there. Let's just fill this in either side. The idea of doing this is so we can control the traffic where it's going to go, not the game controlling the traffic by randomly sending it down every single road known to mankind, which is sort of what is happening at the moment. Your grid has gone off here, isn't it? And then the little places that you've got down here i'm going to just grab this road and we're going to downgrade these to smaller roads so we've got the collector collector going around the outside we don't need it right in the middle as well um, and that is going to be the same for over here we want people to take the road around the outside and not to cut through the middle um none of oh i'll say none of this needs to be a collector but we've got that there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out through here. There we go. So that continues around the outside after they've come across the bridge and around the outside up there. Again, this one isn't going anywhere, although we've got this connection here. This definitely needs to be 
a collector across here because you've what am i looking for this one so you've gone from this collector road to a small one then to a big one again and then you've got these two bridges that come across and just whack into one two three junctions all over here wow this thing is a mess isn't it this is all gonna go let me just delete that and this over here as well So let's decide where the roads need to go. So this highway coming through there really could just do with connecting up here. This could do with not being a highway connection. This is probably all going to move your water and your power and all that sort of thing. Really not needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that road there. There. Hooray. Then we're going to use the arranger line mode. My most favorite thing in the world. This is going to sort of get very messy isn't it it's going to go right across there which is fine because uh, we are going to remove all of that as we've said and then that one's up there excellent look at how neat that is and we can turn that into a non-bridge piece um let's remove all of this okay all the items have been moved over there which is fine we'll check they're hooked up in a moment the warehouses have just gone um, apart from the one that had commercial goods which is over here because you have a lot of commercial over this side which again is something you've done um you've got let's have a look oh no i'll take that back you do have commercial dotted through here ignore ignore that's fine no problem right okay this section down here does not need to be these highway roads Uh, we've got that connection there we need to make we've got this connection here we need to make and these two connections here do we need those let's have a look well we don't need them both in the same place i am looking at this little spot here as the possibility of a bridge so maybe let's just do something like that there we're going to bring it here so it just goes into this one road that bridge is gone that bridge is gone so now we can start seeing our connections that we need we do have like a little roundabout here which would have been great for bringing out to this area rather than this big road here so i'm just wondering so again we've got some more water stuff over here that can all just come over here for now i'm just sort of plopping that down there we go the water stuff is all connected over here um power oh we need some water here for our there we go we'll just bring that through there for our nuclear power station and the power over here should be connected up just to make sure and i've moved over here the fire and the police helicopter depots so that then frees up some more space down here and in fact we could even get rid of this water here and get rid of this road entirely so that will help with that but what i want to do is move some of these so what i think i'm going to do is pick a pick a mod that road uh just extend that road out there and then we're going to just move some of these over this side there we go so that frees up a bit of space here so now we can remove that and we can add in let's just take this four lane road over here let's try that again there we go so now we've got this connection coming out of that roundabout which may assist with what we're doing so now we've got these two connections here we've got this connection here we've got a highway that goes through so we need to do something with that and add some sort of junction in so i'm looking at this and thinking it could do with being moved because ideally the two rows that you've got coming in here should go straight into your collector star roads and as we've sort of upgraded them all going this way rather than that way i reckon we could have the junction over here instead and do a little bit of change to the highway um so let's see what options we've got we've got squares we can purchase so let's purchase that one there there we go let's see what intersections we have available to us and i'm thinking a simple three-way interchange like that i mean you could use this one that's straight out of the game that'll probably work as well but let's just go for something a little bit different so i'm going to sort of put it up here so we have a little bit of access there we go to space and we've got this here that can sort of head out into the wider world as well then we're going to switch this bit up over here there we go and then we'll just line all of that up 
Okay, there we go. A bit of use of the arranger line mode helping on there as well. We're just going to add some lane mathematics in here. Let's have a look what highway options you've got. We want this one here, two lane highway. So basically three lanes coming in. If you look at that little arrow there, it's doing two different things. So this trick works on vanilla as well. Downgrade that to two lanes and that lane will automatically go off up there and these two will carry straight on. So we're going to do both sides of this um, and then if you have traffic manager we're going to take this tool here and when they all come out we'll do hugo there which is control s you can see the little thing there and they will all get a lane each yeah that's fine and then we'll do the same down there and they'll all get a lane each when they come out and this will all work fine excellent so now we've got to take this we probably could actually just do a little bit of lane mathematics here as well And then what we're going to do at the end here, as this doesn't actually go anywhere just yet, we are going to join that to there. So if they wish to come and turn around there, that's good. Okay, so coming down here, we've got one lane on each of those. Then it goes into three lanes. So if there's only one lane on each of those, we could just change this to this road here again, the two lane one way. And that's going to help us. And now we can bring these in and we can basically connect them up to where we like. So we do have our university here, which I'll be honest, has sort of just been chucked in here. So I'm going to not worry too much about messing that up. And then I'm going to do this and use the arrange at line mode. So now you've got an in and an out over here, straight down the main roads instead of coming in over here so let me just remove this junction now down here we want to make sure that these are given access to go in and we could even upgrade this one to a three at the end uh, i'm going to do it with this one here with the sound barrier because then that gives you a left right and a straight on uh, the one coming out maybe we'll do that as well and that can then go down uh, i'm also going to sort of think ahead and say no lane switching there or there and then over here we're going to give everybody dedicated lanes control left click control left click and then we've got traffic lights in here so i'm thinking i want these guys coming in here to have the priority so what i'm going to do actually is uh grab the road and say all the way along this road, anybody coming onto it has to give way. We notice it's heading up there as well, so we'll have to check that out. So yield or give way signs are now put onto all the roads that are coming in. Um, and we'll just follow this one up the end here and see how far that went. Yeah, we don't want that one there. And that's fine. So now when these come in, they've got priority to head straight down. And that is good. We may have to put giveaway on the end here, depending on how busy this gets. And now we just need to pop a junction in here. And then we just need to check what the heck is going on and run everything for a bit and see what we've done has worked. So we've got this with one, two, and we've got this one here. Well, let's just have a look at what is actually over here in this section. So we've got a lot. I mean, this is huge. This is absolutely huge. Uh, it's one big zone i'm just trying to see where the name of the zone is is it summits Twenty-six thousand people that summits it district summits local produce yeah so it's summits Twenty-six thousand people are going to be coming in and out of this section although they have work they have shopping so they can stay local if they wish they've got this road access up here through all the trees Oh dear, that's my fault. I'll have to remove all of those. And this. But we've got no sort of main collector going through the whole thing. You've got these sort of connecting roads and they just hit this big road here. So we may run a, an outside ring road. Ah oh, yes, we love the ring roads. Around the outside. And then we may do something here. But I'm just thinking whether to have this have its own connection and this have its own connection because it's just going to be so busy. Yeah, I'm getting something a bit drastic here. We're going to buy this square in the middle that you haven't purchased. Uh, we're going to take this road that you've got here. Uh, let's just grab that and sort of continue it up here and then add it into a highway junction um, just to sort of spread all this out a bit. Yeah, there's lots of height terrain issues going on there, but I'm not going to get overly concerned about that. And then we get down here, we could just go for our two lane one again. 
uh, which makes things a little bit easier. I want that there. Let's just see where we can join that up. I mean, you could run a bridge anywhere, to be honest, around here. But I think I'm just going to follow this junction that you've got here and just sort of see where we end up. Um, this bit here probably will end up needing to be a nice big time traffic light. So we're going to drop that in there. So now everybody's going to be coming through and up this way. So we might do a few little changes as we go along. We might have that road connect over here somewhere as well. Because we mentioned about interconnecting roads we're missing. Do you know, oh, this might end up being the first city fix I do. Where I just pause it, do the fixes and then run it. Which is a very interesting way of doing a city fix. So, as I've got so far into it, why don't we just leave it like that and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got this junction here. I might just go for another one of these. Because I think these... Oh, no, hang on. Oh, whoa, mamma mia. That is completely the wrong thing. <laughs> for another one of these as i'm sure that will just fit in there nicely like this yeah we're going for a four-way junction of course we'll be connecting this and these two and this over here um so we're having a little bit of fun <laughs> connecting all of this up i'm just wondering whether if i can if i just take that put that as a raised piece I want, oh man, what do I want here? I want a six lane road in there. And then I was going to take this and just connect it to there. I know we're going from a four to a six, but I just think we're just going to have to work with that. And if I can go all the way through to there. <laughs> Very wiggly little bridge going on through there. And I think this has got all the lane mathematics, all the markings. So two go off, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. So the only other thing is uh, all of our power has been messed up. So let me just hook all of that back in again. And I'm just going to unpause and then we're just going to run the game and see how it goes. Okay, so I've got despawning turned off. We're at 16%. I mean, I'm just going to whack this onto speed three. We're going to have a load of vehicles that are going to disappear because that's just where... Oh, some of them just jumped onto the nearest road. Darn you! I was hoping you just all disappear. <laughs> Make the traffic better. Uh, oh, we didn't lane math... Whoops, we didn't lane mathematicize this one here. There we go. Things are spreading out, which are good. That's the one we want. And then I want this one over here, which I've already done. They're going to head all the way down here, which is suddenly going to get super busy. So we might do a little bit of a few changes here. That car factory is just going to move like all the way over here. Also, just a little tip with factories. I mean, I only moved it from there. There's nothing around it. Is I would always have warehouses for these items right next to it. Um, because otherwise they're just going to be being stored elsewhere and probably going to cause a lot of issues. So if we do that, I'm going to put an asymmetric road down the side here. And then up here, I'm just going to put some warehouses. So we just get a standard 2U road. We'll go with that one. Probably could have done with being on the other side of the road, but I don't think it's going to be that busy. So it's animal products, plastics, glass, and metal. So it's actually four warehouses. There we go. That's all set up. Um, so that should all be working. That will help your, your factory there. Right. Okay. Let's check out the junctions that we've put in. So this is moving nicely. Uh, this is getting super busy. We've got a load of cars that were up here trying to come in, and now they're all trying to go. So it may be something like this ends up being a roundabout. And I can see most people want to leave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, they've got a dedicated leaving lane. Is I might just take that off and just let the traffic go for now. And in fact, what we could do here is we could be a little bit clever. Yeah, I think they've all got a lane each. And then that might just help that to go, which is good. Like we said, a little roundabout there isn't going to kill anybody. Uh, this is getting busy, but we're not blocking anybody that wants to go straight on. But the queue is going back. So we're going to say no lane switch in there. No lane switch in there. No lane switch in there. And we're going to make that basically a great big long lane for coming off. 
So that means that everybody else that wants to come past will do it up here and just keep on moving. Um, it's sort of slowing down here. So I'm going to say here, don't stop. Keep on moving through. Don't block the junction. What? No crossings. So they'll just fill that up now. And did we do lane map attitude? Oh, I see. Yeah. So everybody, they can change lanes down here. That's fine. And wow, that's a lot of people. And then when that comes down here, there's a lot of things going on. Right. We're going to make this a better junction. So I'm going to upgrade these to six lane roads, which means coming into this junction, everybody's going to get a dedicated lane for where they want to go. Um, we're then going to add, we've got a traffic light. I'm going to stop that, remove it and re-add it. So they'll all get the lanes that they need. And then we'll leave that going for now. This needs some work. This one around here has just got no road hierarchy at all. So we'll we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's have a look at this junction here and see how it's working. So there's like a couple of little, I mean, I just literally picked this one. Could it look cool? Other than that, so we want, don't stop there, keep going through. You're going okay. They will merge in nicely. I mean, the roundabout's going okay. I don't think I even... Oh, jumpy game. Set up giveaway signs or anything. No, nothing like that. It literally is as it is. So I'm probably just going to leave that. And then all of these are coming over here. Yeah, of course. We've got this bit here, haven't we? So we've got... I mean, there's literally two lanes each way they can go. This is where asymmetric roads would be so good. If we go for six lane road to median... Six lane road. Yeah, let's go for a six lane road with a median. That looks much better. And then over here, they've got lots of extra options of where they want to go. And then we're going to say, don't be so silly. Don't stop there. Go straight through. And that one I've already done. This one I'll probably have to do. It's already done. Whoa. So now, hopefully, yeah, what we're getting is two people using the center lane is i'm gonna have this one do its own thing the middle lane do two left and go with that just having a look at the traffic along here maybe not as bad as what's coming along there so what i would like is these guys to have extra extra time on the traffic lights which we don't have so we're going to put some of those in there we go very good hey look across the bridge Traffic going down already. We've obviously picked the right lanes to have doubled up. Just pour myself a cup of water in case you wonder what that is. And as soon as that goes down over the bridge, I've run out of tea. There's not much else I can do. So, as we said, um, mass transit also needs a look at. But I just want to make sure all these little areas have been given a fair shake of the stick. I mean, look at that. That is, that is moving smoothly. This is getting there. But there's a lot of people that want to get in and out. This is moving. This is busy. We'll, we'll go and follow that, actually. We'll follow that now. Why is that so busy? Where are they all trying to get to? They're all trying to get round here. Um, let's just have a look at this. And I'm going to do a little bit of this. Uh, let's use this one. So we can... Oh, let's use this one instead. So we can have two lanes for straight on and one for turning. Just to help people keep going. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway on there. I'm going to do keep going, keep going on there. This I'm going to set up. Control shift left click as you can see on there. And we've got nice extra lanes on the rest of it. Yeah, so we've got four. I'll click this road here. 48 private vehicles coming up here. I mean, a lot of them are just coming up around this road and heading over to here. Ah, oh, okay. So that's where people live. They're viewing that as the best way through. I mean, another sort of highway junction down here, just to get them to use, whoa, one of these other roads would probably, because that's a very long way around to go, isn't it? Let me just pop one of those in here and connect it up to this road so they can, like, bypass all of that. One second. There we go. So I've added that into there. Just got to quickly do the lane mathematics before I forget. And another couple of, uh, yeah, that's what I want. Another couple of little junctions through there, which I think will make a big difference so that one and that one yeah so they'll come down there they can cross this road cross that road cross that road and come through there so i think that is going to make a huge difference if we just select this road here what are we getting yeah look we've already got all those vehicles coming up and down there and let's pick that road there is that number gone down <laughs> it's got 101 private vehicles i mean that's just yeah it's going to take a while to change i really want to just do this 
What are we at? 51%. Right, okay. I'm going to let this run for a bit. We need to put some mass transit in. And we're losing a lot of people. And then we'll see how that goes. Do you know what? This junction that comes through here, I, it just has to be a roundabout. We haven't done a roundabout in so long. Uh, we are going to squeeze one in here. Boink, like that. And then we're going to upgrade that to three lanes. That's two lanes. I want a three-lane one-way road. Okay, it'll have to be the highway road. Oh, man, I should have put some more roads in here, but these are all the roads I've got. Never mind. Highway road it is, which means people aren't walking and crossing over here. But to be honest, it is such a long way away. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So hopefully that will just keep all of this running a little bit better. If we need to make any other adjustments, we will. What are we up to? 52%. I mean, that is basically it. This little crossroads here. This crossroads here is also going to be a roundabout. Yay, why not? There we go. Let's keep all of that moving. And once this clears up, then that can go and we can hopefully, yeah, things will get a lot better. But this is going well. We're going to do a bit of mass transit. So let's have a look what we've got. Remember we said before wrong button this button here we have metros that barely go anywhere what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the metros we're going to start again so let's start with little europe if i remember correctly there's nothing in here but houses and offices and there is a little bit of commercial as well okay and we've got the schools and things like that i'm not going to go into huge amounts of what if it was my city what i would do is i would look at every single spot where exactly do we need to get to where do we need to get from and I'd really go into detail about all of that. Is that an above ground metro station? It is. Uh, let's just go with the below ground one. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of space these out. If I turn anarchy off, there we go. We won't actually get houses in them. And I'm going to have a ring road that goes both ways. Okay, there we go. So we've got a little ring that goes around the outside, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Then I've just put a little connection through the middle as well. Why not? So if anyone wants to take a shortcut, they can do and they've got a various amount of uh, vehicles on there four for the two outside ones and two on the middle so we'll leave those running okay so for this one i've just decided to run it straight down the middle so i've used this one here which is the double line which comes from the plazas and promenades dlc so that's got the double platform like that whoops so we can have one line going down the outside, which just goes all the way through to this section and then all the way through to the farm and then all the way through to this little neighborhood over here. And then the other side just takes the short route going up and down in here. And then we could have then another connection somewhere in the middle here that heads over that way. Would we need that? Or a connection that goes over to little Europe might be good. Somewhere here. So we're ending up getting some sort of plaza going on or maybe that'll be too much keep the keep them all separate and what are we up to what are we up to 69 percent so we're getting there definitely how's this going this isn't too bad oh it's all the way back up there yeah we might need to just change that junction out a bit i'll tell you what it is is there's no highway access down this side at all. So they're all coming in the highway, and then they're coming off there and traveling all the way through there to get here. We've got this highway that runs through there, and I definitely think we need some sort of highway access that comes into this area. And I'm just looking at the lay of the land. I mean, we could literally come off here, go through the mountain, across there, and come in somewhere over here. I mean, we've got this roundabout with this road. Or could that come through over there? Maybe we'll do that instead. We'll where is it over here? We'll and we've got the train station right there as well. Let's just make a bit of a change here. Okay, there we go. So we've got a nice little junction here, all lane mathematicized and everything. So that'll be working fine with all the Hugos there's that we need. It goes here through the hill out the other side of the hill meanders around here and then joins up with this roundabout up here which may be grown a little bit larger to accommodate and then all we need to do actually is attach up our railway line as well that'll work fine i'm pretty sure we have no other so we've got this railway line goes up here we've got no passenger railway lines or anything like that which would be another big thing which i think would help so we've got that. Anybody complaining about a lack of electricity? No, we're growing slowly, 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 slowly. So we can have that one there. 
And then that line comes up here. I'm just wondering if we could loop it around. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's see how all of this goes. Um, how the uses are. I don't think they would have built up much just yet. Oh, they're getting there. They're getting there. So then what I'm going to do over the next few minutes, they've automatically put these ones in, uh, which have got 150, is I'm going to go through these lines, make sure we've got enough uh, vehicles to cover all the needs, which at the moment seems okay. Mamma mia, where's that one? Okay, commuter destination mod. So that's good. So they're getting on here and they're going all over here. So they're using it locally, which is exactly what we want. Uh, was that this one? Yeah, so that's this one here. Super, super busy. Okay, so what we might do on this line, as it's... Oh, there's so many people. We're going to jump it up to the high-capacity metro, which I think is 400. 500. Good grief. We're going to stick four of those on there. And then line six is not so bad that's going okay wow okay i'll let this run a bit i'll be back with you things have been growing fantastically Eighty-five thousand population and still more moving in i am just doing whack-a-mole with all those dead buildings that we saw i've gone across the whole city now i'm just sort of going back through if there's any that i've accidentally missed let's see what the traffic percentage is oh my goodness me there's all the ones in here i haven't done yet 75 percent that is not too shabby at all we'll get a final traffic result and have a look at how many of our metros are being used right after this couple of other little changes i made this connection here across the bridge i ended up making this a square about and it works okay it works a lot better 73 percent traffic flow which is great keeps things moving i've also added this little stop here look at all the people crossing over oh my goodness there are just millions of them coming from one side to the other probably could do with some sort of path there but this line brings them across the water over to here and then they can cross over and join this line which goes all the way up and down the length over here so let's just take a quick look at the usage over here if we jump into this one boink 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 so whoa big usage i've gone through here and added on the larger models that have 500 and that one is just about keeping up oh and things are upgrading as well which is great this is probably the second biggest oh man so many yeah that's over here so many there so definitely need to add i'm gonna up that to six so I think this is something we could definitely sort of tweak away at, which is, oh, which is good work, which is good work. So let's do that final check. We've still got a bit of red around here, bit of red around there. This comes and goes, I'll be honest, ignore the power cables, they're connected up elsewhere. But 86%, I think, is flipping good, considering it was 16% originally. It's definitely all the usage that's going through uh, these guys here is making the world of difference so so glad i added those in and as well as increasing the traffic percentage we've gone from 80,000 people to 109,000 people we're still more moving in <laughs> more money than we can shake a stick at and it's only taken us 775 in-game days brilliant and we're going to finish on this shot here. Look at that. That really tells me that I need to put a path over the top. But the usage of the Metro, amazing. If you want me to fix your city, check out the form in the description below. I would love to take a look at it. And then subscribe before you watch the next video on the screen. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.